Hello viewers. Uh, today we will solve the problem of two-way shear design for two-way slab. In this problem, the question says a flat plate has a thickness of 7 inches and is supported by 18 inches square column spaced at 20 feet from center to center. The floor will carry the total factor load of 300 PSF. Check the adequacy of slab in resisting punching shear at a typical interior column and provide the shear reinforcement if needed. D, effective depth of slab is given six inches and FC prime is given 4,000 PSI. FY, strength of steel is given 60,000 PSI or 60 KSI. To solve this problem, we have different techniques. We will briefly go through each technique one by one and then we will try to solve this problem using all these techniques. Number one is increasing D, the depth of slab. Number two is increasing the critical shear parameter. Number three is we can increase the strength of concrete or FC prime. And number four is providing extra shear reinforcement within the slab. Increasing depth of slab actually means to increase the depth of slab by one inch or one and a half inch. So this is if this is our slab, which is this is a vector depth, and we can increase the depth of slab. Critical shear parameter can be increased by column capital or drop panel, and uh, to increase the FC prime, we can use additives and with the high strength concrete however for the extra shear reinforcement uh, there are different types like pent up bars or bend bars in uh, the second one is integral beams in which we use the reinforcement bars and embedded beams within the slabs these are called integral beams and number third is uh, shear studs it's a metal strip with the uh, nails steel nails uh, welded to them and number four is shear uh, uh, steel section or a shear head in this we use uh, st standard steel section embedded in slab okay so by first of all we will solve this problem using the column capital in order to find the adequate adequacy of the slab we have to find the critical shear parameter and critical section if this is a column 18 inches by 18 inches the critical section will be d by 2 from this side d by 2 from this side and d by 2 from this side d is given 6 d divided by 2 is 3 so 18 plus 3 plus 3 will be 24 inches so this is our critical area or critical section and uh, critical parameter b naught will be equal to 4 times c plus d which is for square columns so it will be 4 into 18 plus 6 is equal to 96 inches this is our critical parameter now we have to check whether the capacity of this slab is greater than or lesser than demand which will be applied on the slab step one check the puncture shear demand at a distance d by 2. So to calculate demand we have to find VU or maximum shear applied that is load multiplied with the panel width minus the critical section. So calculating that we have Three hundred pound per square foot multiplied with three ninety six eight eight zero zero pounds or one one eight point eight kips. Step two we have to check the shear capacity of concrete slab uh, sorry concrete slab. So in order to calculate that we have to find five VC and this is 4 lambda 
under root fc prime b naught d lambda will be one so i'm ignoring that so in putting the values 0 0.75 multiplied by 4 under root 4000 multiplied by b effective uh, shear parameter is 96 and d is 6. so it comes out to be 109 kips this is our capacity so now we can see that the capacity is lower than our demand actually so 5 ec is lower than our demand so that means we need to design uh, the shear reinforcement or we have to design our slab for shear also now we will solve the shear problem with the column capital uh, in order to find the actual uh, dimension of the column capital we need to find the minimum shear parameter that is required so we will put 5 ec equal to 5 eu so we will put capacity equal to demand and as our formula you know 5 ec is 0 0.75 4 into 4000 under prime v naught into d so v naught we have to find v naught and this comes out to be 104.5 inches our previous B0 was 96 inches. So, so B0 comes out to be 104. Now, substituting B0, uh, which is 4 times C plus D, uh, we can calculate that C, the column we require to have a, a adequate critical parameter, which is uh, now we need the column to be at least 21 inches. So, if this is our column we need to provide the column capital and 21 inches by 21 inches on the both side now we have to calculate why the height of the column capital that is required uh, which is actually controlled by the angle uh, of this column capital so if this is our slab and um, this is our column and this is column capital so we know now this is 1.5 inches and this is 1.5 inches so we need to calculate y and this angle should not be greater than 45 according to the ACI uh, 318 uh, now uh, by calculating uh, this is 1.5 inches and if we assume that the angle is 30 uh, degrees we can calculate 1.5 divided by y and y comes out to be almost um, 2.59 inches or 2.6 inches so this is our column capital uh, which we need to provide on all four sides of column and if theta is 20 degrees then it come, it will be 4 inches so uh, somehow we can uh, calculate the height using at an angle which is for less than 45 degrees and hence this is our design for column capital i hope you liked it and uh, we will do the shear design with other techniques also thank you for watching